Um, what I was doing is probably what a lot of people, I wanted super matches, but I was really worried about my record or my legacy or whether I was placed in the correct place in the rankings. But when the WAL went on hiatus, then there's no, um, there's no progression anymore. And I wasn't arm wrestling and I go, well, you know, I'm still getting older. And if there's not a league, I got to, you know, order to stay relevant. So I said, yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll take any match. I drew, I drew up a price list and a starting price list. And I send it out to folks and, you know, cause I get, I probably get three or four requests for a super match every month. A lot of them are, Hey, do you want a super match? I go, sure. What is it? He goes, well, you come to my event, put up your own money <laughs> And we'll pay-per-view it. And I won't share that money with you. And I go, no, <laughs> this is, I replied back. I go, if you want a super match, an official super match, you come to my house and for about 1200 bucks, we can have a super match. If you don't want a super match and just practice, you can come to my house and you can stay all day. We'll, we'll train all day. That's free. If I have to drive, you know, up to eight hours. All right. We're now we're talking like $3,600. If I have to get on an airplane, it's like $4,600. And if I have to leave the country, get a visa or carry my passport, it's more than $4,600. Okay. <laughs> but it's a, uh, it's, it's a starting point. And at that point, then they go, okay, I don't have that money. And a couple of promoters said, I can't meet that. I don't have that kind of money. And they said, would you take less? And I said, uh, maybe, but it'll be a last minute thing. But right now I'll turn it down. And to be honest, two of the promoters came back. They said, I, I found the sponsors. They found tougher opponents now. But uh, two of my matches this year were from promoters who originally like rejected my opening offer. For me to call myself a professional arm wrestler in America, it's more of a state of mind thing. It's, it's when I stopped picking and choosing who I wanted to arm wrestle and just said, when a promoter says, you want a super match? I go, here's my price. I don't care who you put in front of me. But I will not pull John Brzezink for 3,600 bucks. You know, I mean, if you're going to make $20,000 off the match, I want a chunk of that. So, you know, within reason, but my opening, that's, those are my opening prices. You come to my house for 1200 bucks. Now, um, if you're, if you're a, a younger person or local or something like that, with the, you know, I'll cut that way down. If you want an official super match, if we, you know, if we're going to put up refs and stuff like that, but most people just come for free, but yeah, I will not pull, you know, top ranked super elite people for those base level prices. But a lot of times promoters are, they're working on a tournament four or five months in advance and they're just trying to give, get rough budgetary numbers. And what I do in the old days was, well, tell me who you want me to pull and let me think about it. I got to worry about my training and blah, blah, blah. Now the promoters call me and I go, you want to, would you like a super match? I go, where is it? I've put it on map quest. Okay. I can drive there in less than eight hours. $3,600. That's my budgetary number. You know, tell me who it is later. And then, because a lot of times they'll switch the opponent four or five times, you know, and I don't want to get into renegotiating and all like that. So, so it's a, it's a state of mind thing for my own personal. It's more of an excellence over victory thing. You know? Yes. I will arm wrestle. This is my price list. Yeah. At that time, my definition that I was thinking was that, you cannot call yourself a professional arm wrestler if you have to hustle on YouTube for five, six, 10 hours a day. Like we are talking about Ryan Bowen at that time. Like Ryan Bowen has to upload content 10, 12 hours. My definition at that time was if you want to call yourself a professional arm wrestler, your match fees, your contracts, whether it be one single match contract or a three, four, five year, one year contract and your endorsements, brand deals. If these are able to cover your expenses, you are make, able to make a living off these things, then maybe you are an arm wrestler. But with that logic, almost nobody is a professional arm wrestler in the arm wrestling world. That is why your oh, answer was the, I found it the most perfect answer. If somebody is paying you money for arm wrestling, then you're a professional arm wrestler. Yeah. And, and, and you mentioned that on your YouTube channel that you have only about three or maybe four months that you are available to arm wrestle. So why are you right now, you're planning to arm wrestle almost every month. And that is something that no one has done. At least I have not seen anyone doing that. I am fully embracing. I am an arm wrestler for hire. 
I am the professional gunslinger of arm wrestling. <laughs> I have a price list. If you, if, if I can drive to your event in less than eight hours, I will be there for $3,600. That's my opening bid. That's, uh, that's what I plan to do. I, I wish, I wish Todd, everyone was able to talk so freely about money, but money is still such a taboo in our arm wrestling community. <laughs> that makes well, me it's sad. it's hard because you don't want to put out to, I mean, and it was difficult for me as well. Cause I didn't know what other people were getting and I didn't know, and I didn't want to be cheated and I also didn't want to get beat for a lot, but you know, if you don't try something, then nothing happens. So let's, let's try this and see what happens. Everything about Todd Hutchings screams professionalism. He's trying to create, or I think he has already created a persona of professionalism around him. We heard that from Lachlan Adair when Todd Hutchings defeated Lachlan Adair, Lachlan went to Australia and said that he didn't even get a chance to speak to Todd Hutchings. He just showed up, won the match and left the building. Same thing happened in the East vs West 2 event. Engin also said that Todd Hutchings just showed up, beat Jordan Sonev and left with his bag. Nobody even got a chance to talk to him. When Yanis was interviewing Todd Hutchings, he said that it is not about money. Todd Hutchings immediately corrected Yanis that for him, it is about money. It is about paying credit card bills. So this is what I like about Todd Hutchings. He openly talks about money. And in arm wrestling, we are starting to see Ryan Bowen talk about it. Now Todd Zilla also. Travis Bajan talk about it. I hope more and more arm wrestlers freely talk about money in arm wrestling. Just like other big events, other big sports like UFC, boxing. They openly talk about and almost brag about how much money they are making. I hope to see arm wrestling at that stage in near future. Couple of days ago, I made a video about Todd Hutchings vs Monster Michael Todd. I want to make a correction video about this. So in short, that match is not confirmed. So how did this went? Todd Hutchings when he defeated Jordan Sonev called out Monster Michael Todd. Then a couple of days ago, somebody messaged me or commented under one of my videos that Monster Michael Todd has confirmed that match for April 30. I went on to Monster Michael Todd's channel and yes, there was a comment saying 30 April. So it is my bad, my mistake that I did not confirm from any of these two. I should have done that. So last minute update guys, just talked with both of these legends, Todd Hutchings and Monster Michael Todd. It looks like this match is not confirmed yet, but both of them kind of want this match. So this may in fact end up happening possibly on the same date that we mentioned in this video and maybe not, but nothing is confirmed for now. So me being a YouTuber and a fan of arm wrestling, I can just hope that this match happens. Todd Hutchings has been contacted now by Monster Michael Todd. Let's see how that goes. If they are able to find a sponsor or anything, I don't know about the details, but let's hope that match happens. Hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone who thinks like you. My name is Pradeep and I thank you so much for watching.